Good morning. Oh, it's afternoon already. Good afternoon, Caleb. Well, it's morning for me still. Good morning, Jane. How are you? I'm doing great. How's your day so far? It's getting busy. It's getting busy, but another another day good. at the home office, as you can see. <laughs> busy is good all the time. You know, don't worry, time will fly. <laughs> that it does. That it does. Just prep for the weekend. That's right. So thank you so much for gracing us this uh, opportunity, you know, to do the interview regarding your certificate for in training and assessment. So Caleb, can you kindly start by telling us your position, your designation and what industry you work with? Yeah, so I am a disability service coordinator for a non-for-profit charity, charitable organization here in Western Australia. Um, I've been in the industry for Oh gosh, seven, going on eight years, early next year. Um, so I've been in this role for the past four. Uh, and I guess, yeah, working in the disability services, I've also worked in youth work, uh, aged care, mental health. So um, the whole sphere of the community services sector. Um, it's a real big passion of mine. And it's something that I've, um, yeah, really enjoyed working in. Of course, seven to eight years, you're totally enjoying what you're doing, <laughs> definitely. It's uh, something new every day, something new every That's day. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> and which courses did you actually study with us? So I've done, this is actually my second course uh, through you guys. So I originally did the Advanced Diploma in Community Sector Management mm -hmm. um, and just completed my certificate for in training and assessment. Great. That's good to know. Those courses are actually powerhouse courses. But how did you get to know the the certificate for in training and assessment course? So I was actually approached by, um, I believe it was Mary. Uh, mm -hmm. Mary called me up and said, look, Caleb, you essentially tick all the boxes for this course. Um, it's a new course for us. We'd really love for you to join. And it was actually the stars had all aligned because it was the course that I was already looking at um, and looking at potential options to complete. So, yeah, um, she ran me through how it works. Obviously, it is slightly different to the usual RPL, which I completed beforehand. So it was a little bit more of the practical side of the assessments as well, uh, which I found really beneficial. Um, but yeah, it was it was all Mary. <laughs> Mary's been my uh, go-to girl. Mary and Bev have been my go-to uh, guys since I <laughs> started with you. That's great to know that, you know, they were able to bring it up to you because it's really one of the newest courses and we know that you will be a benefit with that course. But what made you sign up and pay for this course? Uh, look, I think for me, um, how easy completing my advanced diploma was um, through you guys. It was honestly it was it was something that was almost too easy and I was I was almost concerned I was like it shouldn't be this simple um obviously having the experience it was all based on recognized prior learning which I could provide the evidence quite quickly for um as it's a large part of my day-to-day -day work when I was approached by Mary and said look would you like to join the um training and assessment course, I couldn't, I couldn't say no, because, well, how simple it was beforehand, how supportive um, my trainer Bev was, I had such a positive experience with you guys, it was just so simple, uh, yeah, and I think that bliss, uh, that, that, that simplicity was something that I was really draw drawn to, as well as the supportive environment. Wow. Thank you so much for that heartwarming feedback for, for our ladies, Mary, and your facilitator as well. Um, but uh, what really sets my course apart, do you think, from other providers? Is there anything else? Why get my course and not other providers from the very beginning? So 
I had actually applied. So when I was originally going through um, and applying for courses online, I had applied to a number of online um, courses just for some quotes to have a conversation. Um, and it was actually to do my diploma of community services. I was called by Mary. I applied at about 8 p.m. online that night. I got a call at about 8 p.m. 8 a.m. the next day from Mary saying, hey, I'm from Get My Course. We've received your, we've received this. Um, Want to have a bit of a chat with you? And while she was speaking with me, she was providing me options of maybe alternative courses that might be more suited to my role. And that was how I eventually moved uh, into doing the advanced diploma in community services. And again, I think that how, sorry, just trying to find my words here, how it's easy okay. going she was, um, as well as how supportive she was. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she's not just trying to go to, oh, the, the Diploma of Community Services is perfect for you. Just take that one. She was saying, well, look, this is the role that you're in at the moment. This is how you can get recognised prior learning for your current position so you can actually further yourself in the industry that you're currently working. And I think it wasn't just about a dollar figure. It was about, hey, how can we support this person to mm -hmm. benefit their career long term? And I think that was what instantly drew me in. Um, I think that was just something really heartwarming. And, you know, I, I then later on received calls from the other companies that I'd, um, that I'd been called from. And I didn't receive that same reception. It wasn't, Ooh. it was, you know, it was very much, oh, you've applied for this course. Well, this is how much it will cost. It was very black and white. Um, yeah, so I thought that person-centered approach was just really heartwarming and lovely. Thank you so much. That's amazing. And knowing Mary, that's really her. <laughs> we have some good chats, me and Mary. <laughs> that's right. I know. And uh, I know you 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 mentioned that you have the highest um, pay in your sector, but how do you see this, like for promotion and pay rise in the future? How do you see Certificate 4 in training and assessment can help you? So I guess this is a real passion of mine is educating. Um, I don't necessarily want to go down the university pathway of becoming a, a teacher or a lecturer. Um, I feel that my skill set is would be a lot more beneficial in a TAFE setting or in a educating setting um, with real world experiences, not teaching hypotheticals so when I was approached I think with my experience with my current certificates that I have the training assessment is something that I can see myself doing long term um, you know I would love to be the likes of a TAFE lecturer um, we also have the option of providing training within our own industry as well so mm -hmm. there, it does really open up a lot of pathways for me at the moment. Um, and that's something that I'm really excited to to explore. That's right. And I know it'll add to your to-do list. <laughs> Ever-growing to-do list. That's right. And what are your, what do you think are the top two, three benefits of you doing this certificate for in training and assessment? I think um, progression is definitely um, career progression is the obvious one. Um, I think for me, it's a passion of mine. So not only is it progression in the industry that I really care about, it's my passion as well, um, as well as opens opportunities, um, even outside of the industry that I'm currently working in. I think that's one of the benefits of the Cert for in training and assessment is that you can train in anything as long as you have the accredited course to be able to train. Um, and I think that's really exciting for me as well. So, yeah, it just opens up for new industries, new possibilities, and I think that's just, yeah, really exciting. That's right. And, again, more to-do list for you, <laughs> your ever-growing to-do list. But busy Absolutely. is good. <laughs> And what's your advice to people who are just sitting on the fence as of the moment? I think, um, look, 
I was a fence sitter for a very long time. Oh. Um, I didn't, I was happy to to stay where I was, but I think my advice to people would be go for it. Put yourself first, take the shot, provide, get better opportunities for yourself. Don't just be okay with just where you are. Mm -hmm. Always look for more. Um, because I think that's just a, a beautiful aspect of life and we don't have to feel bogged down in the one job that we're just working at the moment. We have options available to us. So put yourself first and take hold of your job and your career and use it to better you. So that's my advice. That's one great advice. So I didn't know you were a fence setter, a sitter for a long time. <laughs> but... Yeah. 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 I, um, no, for, for a very long time, I just allowed myself to be okay with accepting a paycheck and not really doing a huge deal, which was, which was fine. I had great opportunities, uh, but I wasn't progressing my career. I wasn't progressing me. I wasn't learning. I wasn't educating myself. And since having these courses, I think it's reignited that passion for me to say, well, look, you know, where I'm at at the moment, I have a fantastic job in a career that I love, in a role that I love. But as a young person, life can change. Things might things might be different. I might not have the same passion in 10 years' time for the same industry. I might want to do something else. So I think recognising what skills I've developed at this role at the moment has been fantastic. And it just allows me to be able to say, in the future, I've developed all of these skills. I have a certificate to show I have these skills and the ability to be able to do this. And if I want to come back, the option's there. That's right. So you have a lot of things under your belt. Whatever path you decide to go to in the future, you have different kinds of qualifications. And Absolutely. that's good that you're, you know, you're still growing yourself. You're still young, right? Yeah, I turned 25 this year. My goodness. <laughs> you are really young. And that's very good that you're growing yourself and your career path. And we are very thankful and grateful for you sharing your um, your story with us regarding Certificate Foreign Training and Assessment, Caleb. Thank you so much for your precious time. And I won't take you that long. I know you have a very busy list <laughs> to it's do growing. right now. <laughs> the growing busy list for today. But hey, it's Friday. And thank you so much, Caleb, for your time. Thanks so much, Shane. Really appreciate it. You do have a lovely day. Thank you. You too. Thank you.